Hello and welcome once again to a how-to tutorial. This week is how to Photoshop text. In this video I'll be showing you in depth how to use the text tool in Photoshop and show you a lot of cool effects you can add to text. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our text tool, select an area we want the text to be in, and we'll type out something. How to. I bet you didn't see that one coming. We're going to select it and center it, and we will show you all of the effects. So I went with a nice impact font, but you can select your text and select any font you want. When you select it, you can also change it from <laughs> impact only has two things you can use, regular and regular. But if we were to select something like Arial, we have regular, we have italic, bold, and bold italic. But I'm just going to go back to impact, just because it's a nice solid font. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And we'll switch this to sharp instead of crisp. Now you have your three alignments of text, left, center, and right. I'll stick with center for this and you have your colors for the text. You can choose any color you want for your text, but we'll just stick with white. Now the next button is something very few people actually know about. It's this button, and it is called the Create Warped Text button. So you click it, and you get this little window popped up. Now you switch the style to any warp you want to add to your text. If we were to add this arc, you can see it kind of bows it upwards. You can change the bend. You can bow it downwards, make it arc up or down, add a slight one or a heavy one. And you can change the horizontal and the vertical. Now there's a whole lot of these choices you can choose from, and the little pictures next to them really help to show you kind of what you're making. But just play around with these to find one that you really like. I think I'm going to go with maybe a flag or uh, possibly one of these shell ones because I kind of like the effect the shell ones give. Once you've got it kind of how you want it, go ahead and click OK. And as you can see, you can still keep typing alongside unless you run out of space. But yeah, these are still completely editable, so you can change them and make them look however you want. Now, this button, next to the Create Warped Text button, just pulls open more options. Another way to get to it is by clicking this little character button. Um, again, you have your font and its options. You have the size, and you have the paragraph spacing. Now, this happens when you have some text up higher and lower, you can kind of change them to get them closer together or further apart. And you have these useful functions. Selecting these can make your text taller, shorter, and wider, and thinner. So we're going to make ours a little bit wider, a little bit shorter. You can also change the color in here, and you can italicize it, make everything capital, by pressing this button, I'm pressing it to make them lowercase again. You can add superscript or subscripts. You can underline it, or you can strike through it. Now, once you're done with the actual text tool, you can move on to blending options for your text. Now, text is still fully editable even after you've used blending options. So with your selection tool selected, you'll just right click and click blending options, and it will bring up your blending options window. You can add all sorts of cool shadows and effects to these things. We're going to add a gradient overlay on ours. Just kind of make it pop a little bit more than it is right now. You can select different colors and stuff for your gradient. And we'll add a drop shadow. We will change the distance to make it look a little bit further. Maybe edit the size, make it look a little cleaner. And then once you have everything how you like it, just hit OK. And that is pretty much it for the text tool. There's all sorts of effects you can do. Like I said before, even after you've added these effects, you can make this say anything you want. 
and it will still look fine. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe, and have a nice day.